Hello friends, welcome back to SourceCat Tutorials. I hope you liked my previous videos and if you do like them, then subscribe to my channel. There's a lot more to come from me. So in this tutorial, we will make a CPU fan with AutoCAD 3D modeling. So let's start our CPU fan. We'll start the CPU fan by making a cylinder. Cylinder of radius. 5 units and height 5 units. Now we will make a helix. So go to draw, select helix. With this center, we will make a helix with radius 5 and top radius 5. And number of turns 0 0.16. Now specify height as 5 units again. Now here is our helix. Like this. Now go to extract edges and extract edges of the cylinder. Now use this top face and make it our current sketching plane. Like this. We will turn this grid off. It's a bit annoying. Now select spline and we will make a spline feature like this we'll just rotate it a little bit okay here it is here it is i think i need to rotate it a little bit okay now it seems perfect so we'll start our spline and make it like this so here is our spline now go to 3d view again and copy this spline. Copy and paste it here. Now use line and join these two endpoints of this spline. Now go to surface ribbon and select network. Select this spline and this. Enter this line and this. Enter. Now we have our surface generated here. Now we will thicken it. So use thicken and enter a value of 0 0.1 units. Now we have thickened it. As we now converted it to a solid by thickening it. Now we need to remove these sharp edges. So for that select fillet radius and use a radius of 1.4 units. Click on this. Okay, 1.4 units is a bit large for this, so we'll select a smaller value. This time select the radius of 1 minute only. And here's our fillet. Now we'll use same fillet for this sharp edge as well. So select fillet, enter radius of 1 unit again, select the sharp edge, enter center. Now here's our filleted solid model. Now we can remove these lines. These are no longer needed. Now go to shape view. Here you can find this drawing clearly. Now we will array it. Array this fan along the center and enter number of entities 9. And close this. Now we will use extrude faces and extrude space up to a height of 1 units. So I will extrude it to 1 units and press enter. Here is our face. Now fillet it. Use the sharp edge and a radius of 1 unit. Here we have already specified one unit value, so we don't need to specify it again. Now we have this. Go to home. Now select this top face as our current drawing plane. Go to draw and use construction line. 
and we will make a few construction lines. Now select offset and offset it at a distance of 11 units. Now 11 unit is a little bit larger one. So we'll select a smaller value of 10.6 units. Now offset it to 10.6. As shown in figure here. And here we have all of our offsets. Now we'll trim and we'll trim all the lines which are not at all needed. So here we have our clear geometry. We need these lines as well. Now we will join them. Join all these lines. Okay. Now fill it with the radius of two units. This one. Use polyline to fill it all the edges at once. And make a circle with radius of 10 point 10 units will do it. Now make a circle here with this center and radius one unit. Now I'll copy the circle to all the four centers like this. Let's move to wireframe and we'll press pull it. We'll press pull this geometry up to minus six units. Go to shape it and here is our complete drawing. Now we have a completed CPU fan. I hope you like my video. We'll make another one in our next tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.